Just as we we're about to leave, we got stopped by the cops. I think we might have been driving a little bit over the speed limit, which is like 80 kilometers an hour. The speed limit is 60 kilometers an hour, they say. We don't know that because there was no sign, so. That's not good. That is not good at all. And he just pretty much came out of nowhere. He literally just launched himself onto the road and we all got a fright of our lives. Like, what is that? Oh my gosh, you guys. So we've been on this road where the last time we were here was the giraffe. It's right there. The last time we drove on this road, which was last year on the road trip, we literally almost drove into an elephant. We've been scouting for an elephant so hard. I was actually feeling a little disappointed that we didn't see one. And then all of a sudden, we drive and we see a giraffe just chilling there. It's just minding its own business. And I'm just like, wow, okay. It's right over there. Like, seriously, I will take that anytime. Oh my god, we found elephants. <gasps> Whoa. We found elephants. Oh yeah, I'm my gonna go gosh. stand there. You no, take me a you're picture. not, honey. No, you are not gonna do that. No. No. That we found no. no, I'm not being a chicken. We all must be safe. Let's go. Oh my gosh. We actually saw elephants. I'm so happy right now. I'm so I don't know why I'm so happy because it's not like I haven't seen an elephant before. But I mean this one is just random. They just cross the street like it's normal. And it's rough, right? Oh my god, I'm so happy. And little mister over here wanted to get off the car. I mean they have bots and signs everywhere saying it's wild life, you can stop at your own risk and he still wants to go and chill next to the elephants and take pictures. So it's like uh, that's like a happen. Wild elephant, it's not like a zoo elephant, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm being paranoid, but it's possible. It's possible. Almost four hours later, we are only making it now to the border. I'm not necessarily at the border because you know you're not allowed to vlog at the border or take pictures or anything like that. But we stopped at the garage just before the border purely because we had to get fuel. We were actually looking for a shell garage, but there's only an engine. I swear the last time we were here was a shell garage, but it was only about a year ago. So anyway, uh, we stopped there. I got Kibble Bunny some vanilla muffin, which is indulging on right now. I'm gonna eat a pie because I was actually also very hungry and the food we have here will need for us to crack up the gas stove and we can't do that. I don't think it's gonna be possible anywhere near any of these things here. So that's what we're doing. This is quickly grabbing some ice. I bought some coke as well because it was like I need uh, some sugar fix, some sort of sugar fix that's not an energy drink. So I got coke 
you're gonna go ahead and cross the border into Zambia I do not foresee it being an easy process because there is a whole bunch of cars and trucks so they might be here for a while and we're using a ferry so I hope they're gonna let me vlog the ferry because that should be very exciting right crossing the border this is seriously so cool and i look like a hot crazy sweaty mess and i probably am right now but so cool there's like two giant trucks in here and two sedans which i think is pretty badass i don't think this could hold such a load but apparently it can there's the passenger ferry this is so cool so funny keep saying we're going to Botswana, and i tell her we're going from Botswana, sweetheart we're going into zambia I don't know why I'm so happy. I feel like a proper child today from seeing elephants to giraffe and not being on a ferry. What more can a girl ask for? Seriously. that I made was filmed when Blue was coming out of the ferry. It was made at 10 minutes after 1 p.m. It is right now 27 minutes past 2 p.m. and we are only just about to leave the border into Zambia. Um, it took forever in a billion years. You guys, the process here to get your passport stamped and pay for customs and all of that not so fun stuff next to the Zimbabwean process this is probably the worst like nobody tells you where to go you get surprised each time they tell you go there and then when you get there they tell you know you're supposed to go there first and then when you get there they tell you know go back and then you get there and they're like we want US dollars and then you must go get US dollars you get US dollars they, they tell you we want guacha you get the guacha they tell you we want rent it's it's ridiculous so anyway thankfully we got here on time so we're about to leave Not even an hour later and we are in Livingstone, which is very exciting. Cable's Bunny, however, has been begging for a pie. I don't think she quite knows what a pie is. She saw me eating a pie earlier today and I said to her, I'm eating a pie. And now she says she wants pie food. So, thankfully. So, thankfully, we found a shop right, which is something that looks very familiar to what we have back home. Hopefully, their food tastes the same. I hope so. We're going to go ahead and try get her a pie and hopefully something. Like, I'm so less up and boss something delicious that we can cook tonight i'm even celebrating while just thinking about it so we're gonna go ahead and try find it is it nice cables of is having pie for the first time and she says she likes it in the meantime i had completely forgotten that i was actually wearing dizzy's pants and i was wondering why am i feeling so hot so i'm completely taking this off because i'm still wearing my shorts i actually ended up putting on his pants because Don't one of the girls as we we're crossing into the oh. ferry she said to me she was coming from Botswana into zambia and she asked me if it's my first time going to zambia and i was like yeah it's the first time and then she was like if you're wearing those shorts like short shorts like the ones i'm wearing now because they like seriously short because <laughs> i'm that mom uh she says to me they might just harass you because the last time she wore shorts like that they almost took her to jail or some type of thing like that because they don't want her like Apparently women here are not allowed to wear like super short things and in my head I was thinking oh my gosh all the research that we've been doing about different countries and stuff we're just looking for what they wanted we never did consider checking what their dressing tradition is or dress code or whatever you call it but I quickly put on these pants here we're gonna go ahead and try find out if they have any campsites available because you can camp here they also have like chalets and stuff we don't want a chalet we want to camp so hopefully they'll have some campsites available and then we can book that i think they also have a probably pretty better as a view of the beginning of victoria falls like not the beginning like the river it's a busy river ne? so beautiful it's the shouting day no there's no sharks this is just a river it makes the falls you know there by victoria falls this is where it all begins this is the zambezi river it turns out they have not only campsites available but they also got wi-fi and i'm just like yes i haven't had a need for wi-fi this whole time matter of fact i don't even think i need wi-fi i'm just a wi-fi generation like when they said they have free wi-fi i was like what 
you have free wi-fi i think i need wi-fi and to be honest i don't i mean i've had such a pretty great time with no social media nothing whatsoever and then here i am getting sucked back right in just pretty much just picked our campsite which is gonna be there somewhere so dizzy went to go check out the bathrooms and he says they are pretty darn awesome so we're all on a mission to seriously go and see the bathrooms Okay. Huh? I know, right? So nice and clean. They're so clean and they got showers. Okay, I get I get what the big deal is about. Half the time when you camp, the bathrooms are not necessarily exciting at all. But this time around they are so clean and so well kept and they feel cool too. I think they're air conditioned or something. Pretty great. Like I always say. It did not happen if you don't have the Polaroids to prove it. Well, these are not even Polaroids. These are like instant mini pictures. So, uh huh, uh huh. There's quite a lot of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually label them up so that I know which one was taken where because I tend to forget these things. We have settled into our campsite. We're literally just chilling. We just took a shower, a nice shower for that matter. I'm cooking up some dinner, which is very, very exciting tonight. We're gonna have pap bors and some tomato gravy. Like do it the home style, you know tomato what I'm saying? Tomato gravy? Yeah, it's gonna be so yeah, delicious. Me. I know, Blue is sitting right over there. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog so I can finish up the cooking. This is going to take a shower. And I'll catch you besties tomorrow for another fun-filled adventure. This is me, I'm so royal. And you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. Round a champion.